If you're in the port at that time, you should be in there because you are engaging either customs or the port authority. And while we understand the necessity to have someone along with you, we believe that that should be done only if it's required to assist maybe an elderly individual or someone who requires assistance. So from that perspective, I wanted to clarify that part of it. Um, on, on the other hand, we believe that as is our responsibility, we desire to deliver optimum service to the people of Antigua. All the, ba the barrels will be, well, they will, they will be in the containers as they normally do. But then we'll have two officers who are directly assigned to collecting the money from these dollar barrels. And we also have a supervisor that we put in charge of the two officers who, this of these officers will collect all the charges from the dollar barrel and then at the end of the day, they will be checked and overseen by the supervisor. And so that will alleviate, anybody has to go to tariff if you have a dollar barrel. That used to con create a congestion inside of that building that will be eliminated this year. We're going to have a, um, a real-time mode this year, and it's going to be very active. So instead of having that il eliminating congestion also, so when you come to the port gate, you will see your container number, and you will see if it's been on stuff, or you have to come back the next day. So the real-time mode is very important, and this year, Mr. Telemark, he was the one that suggested it, and we thought it was a very good idea, and this will eliminate congestion, because you'll come and know exactly if you need to enter the port or not.